We're going to go now to 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden um, back on the Uber driver with a look at the company's hiring practices. Naya, what would you find? Every day, thousands of people get into strangers' cars going place to place, hoping that the rideshare companies have vetted them and that they're trusted. For Tony Glover, driving is a full-time job. I said, what is Uber? You know, she said, uh, you can pick up people, you know, part-time, full-time, and, you know, you can enjoy yourself, set your own hours and stuff. So I said, okay. He works for Uber and Lyft. I've met some great Uber drivers and Lyft drivers, and I've met some ones that's not so great. We asked him what it took to get the job. Driver's license, proof of insurance, you know, registration for your vehicle. For Uber, it starts with passing the driving history screen then a national, state, and local criminal check. Uber says they check for sex offenders, criminal records, and suspected terrorists. According to Uber, Saifalo Sapau, the man accused of a terrorist attack in New York, passed with flying colors. As a driver, our, our number one concern is who gets in our car. But as a passenger, you wonder, who car am I getting into? You know, which is a very scary thing. Uber says they are working with law enforcement. Nia Harden, 7 Action News. Thank you, Naya.